Hey everyone! Welcome back to another Toki Toki Literature Club. Uh, so a bit of side note: this might come out later in the day. I want to try out uh, some different times to post. Is I'm not sure if the usual post of what I'm doing is great. I figure I would experiment with this. And see where it goes, because the rest of this week, I well, before this video came out, um, yeah, I was out of town, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, trying to deal with, uh, Big mess, honestly. Nothing bad, just something I just had to do. Anyway, uh. Anyway. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Let's start to Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's actually. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. I feel like you're not really spending time with anyone, but Yuri, to be fair, at this point, it's It's pretty much not up to us anymore. And that's concerning. Uh huh. Sorry, I thought something was wrong with the reporting. Ah. Uh, but yeah, we're not much in control now and anymore or at all <laughs> then what we're given because <laughs> uh we're we don't have any control over who we get to play hang out with because yuri wants to be with us 24 7 and, uh, I think Monica did something to her, because now she's being creepy. I mean, what was up with the eyes last time? That was... That was a bit freaky. Uh... Not in a bad sense, but it was just so unexpected. It seems like her eyes were about to pop out of her skull. It was... Very concerning. So you better keep up the hard work. I mean, I know I'm not vice president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. Just to be clear, why do I keep always clicking the right? This poem means a lot to me, so read carefully, okay? <laughs> okay, not a poem, this is actually words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she actually... Did she make two things? One to write, one to write about what's going on, and one to write about, and one an actual poem. <laughs> she used this as disguise to really bring up what's going on. Huh. 
probably wrote this poem. That's probably good to make sure that no one suspects suspects anything. Ugh. Why the heck is my tongue so... Never mind, never mind. It's just something's numb. I don't know how else to bring this up. But there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. <sighs> yeah. Okay, this is really embarrassing. But I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to her therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So. Please, you see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll just, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why... I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a real po good poem. Okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Or ignore everything you read. Read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Ray? <sniffs> okay. If you want to just spend more time with Monica, all these problems will go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, let me see. Uh huh. Uh. Um. Wow. Yeah, no. Finally. Uh, okay, I'm actually concerned. Oh my gosh. She's like this one friend or companion that you're close with that honestly thinks you're their world. And that's actually a worrying something. Because if something happens to you, then literally they'll break. And I honestly don't like that kind of thought process. 
or mentality that someone would have. It's so concerning. Anyway, uh... Yuri holds my phone to her face to take a deep- and takes a deep breath. But- You didn't even read it! You just took it and just... Gave it probably a single glance. What? Uh, nah, yeah, yeah, this is concerning. This is very concerning because no one is supposed to act like this. The fact that she is is just it's horrible. It just makes it feel like she doesn't care about herself at all. And that's. <laughs> it, it's freaking awful. <sighs> uh, I love everything about it. Uh, Ray, I want to take this home. Oh my gosh. That's, uh... Wow, that's, uh... I am actually very worried here. And it's honestly making me uncomfortable. This is wow. Just whoa. Never thought I would be in something like this. Uh Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Ray. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. Uh, I'm really sad now. <laughs> Seeing this, it's just honestly a bit heartbreaking, in all honesty. It's okay to feel like this, okay? It's not too bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Uh, I'll take good care of it. I live in Um. Give myself paper. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to say any of that stuff. <laughs> Biggest is um really uncomfortable now.
Get my poem too. Besides, after reading it, I know you're gonna really want to keep it. Here. I pick it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Okay, that's not even fair. I can't even read this. Okay, there's yellow on it. So either this paper's old or is she actually urinated on this? I know it's a bit crudish of me to say, but... Oh no, it's following the screen, so... What the heck? Uh, there's also blood. Interesting. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, this one was about uh, something, 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 something. Uh huh. Something, 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 something. More importantly, I've been downed it with my scent. Yes, I've noticed. The smell of blood is interesting. I am totally not being sarcastic or anything like that. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? Yes. You are the most thoughtful person in this damn club. <sighs> yeah. Natsuki has a reason to worry. I mean, we all know what, why she's acting up, but... <laughs> Monica, seriously, stop messing shit up. What the fuck? I'm gonna be completely honest. I know all the stuff they did. But I don't actually remember the images. At all. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Okay, this just confirmed a thing or two. Wait, how can we give our poem to someone? We literally gave it to Yuri and she now has it. <sighs> this is so confusing. Ray, I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. Oh, so now you're coming out with it. I didn't ha want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have to, a choice. It's game time, kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Oh! No shit, Sherlock! Oh, jeez! Oh, I wonder! Huh? Is it too dangerous now, considering the fact she gave me a poem filled with frickin' blood? And I'm trying the multitask to actually find out what that poem reads. So thank you, Sherlock! Your help is so appreciative now! Hey, ha how about this? The next time you mess with something, make sure everyone is freaking okay! Uh, 
don't know how this thing works, but I am frustrated, okay? We literally almost probably got bodily harm by Yuri. And body? I think that's the word. Actually. We almost got ripped apart. It became your grease sadistic toy. Not that we're being sadistic, but more of the fact that she's gonna be sadistic to us into the most brutalist way possible. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds places to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Why? Ugh. Don't get rid of Sayori next time. Yeah. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some high from it. It might even be like a... I do not need to say that. I am not saying that. And if that's the case, uh, might want to find someone that does that, that likes that kind of shit, because that is a little disturbing to me. Anyway, uh... But at this point... But the point is, you've been... You've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain all this to you. So, if I think if you keep her her distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Okay, that's why. She's not concerned about my safety. Okay, she's only concerned about my safety because she has an interest. Got it. Hmm. What a great friend she is. I'm not wrong. It's cool that she cares about her friends, but when it comes to this situation, it seems she more cares about the fact that... Actually, I lost my thought process there. Anyway. That's my thought process because this is just sounds repetitive. I guess we won't uh, won't worry about your poem. You really should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really hard on, on my poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. <sighs> what is... What is even this game anymore? Use that strongly. Um... Well, I kind of messed up at... Uh... Writing this poem. I was trying to... Never mind. 
honestly, it makes me wonder if she actually was trying to give us a picture. Because that might be the general thing, because I'm not seeing any words at certain places. My guess is she tried to make a picture appear. Maybe an option? Something else? I don't know. Or maybe it was something like Yuri or Yuri's or Natsuki, where it's not really a poem, it's just words. Yeah, that would explain it. I'm not picking yes or no for anything. I don't know what's going on. I it could mean my saving thing. Okay. So this is her poem. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference is was that there were nails sticking out from the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The first thing I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing and something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream, it was that noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell the joke at that moment. Is that your poem? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival's preparations. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Wow! It's not more of an excitable thing now. It's more of a... Uh, let's just get this over with now. Like, let's get your complaints over with. Let's get the idea of everyone probably hating it over with and let's just do it to prepare for what's coming up hmm staging air is common for a show that's something terrible is about to happen look can we just get this done i'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Here we can. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whoever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica. Oh, damn. Okay. I think I get the dynamic now. Natsuki is cautious of both of them and we prefer to be anywhere but here we all know how Yuri is acting but Monica <sighs> just seems to be uncaring no I don't think that's the case It's not the fact that she's uncaring, it's more the fact that... I don't actually know how to describe it. I have the word in the top of my head. It's just that I don't... Huh. That's so weird. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to decorate and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? It's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? About right. 
Oh, sh this is gonna be shit. Let me run. Let me hide in the bathroom for like five hours and let them worry about me or not, and I can escape at the at the evening of dawn. Wait. Evening of that oh no oh. oh man I, I actually messed the wording up. <laughs> it actually took me a second to realize. Uh it, it was supposed to be dusk. What is wrong with my thought process today? I am going crazy. They are making me go crazy. I am actually concerned. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, uh, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Ray around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't do even do anything. Okay, let then. Why not let Ray decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. You are abusing your power. For all the DDLC fans, and considering that I have literally a channel that focuses on DDLC. I think we can all admit that, essentially, you are, in the end of it, abusing your power to the freaking max. Yes, you are, Monica. She definitely is. I mean, she got rid of Sayori just because... We couldn't hang out with her. Just let make just let Rain make his choice. Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. I know how fed Ray, I know how fed up you are about these two. You could just Natsuki just shut your fucking mouth. And let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? And here's the twist. <sighs> if I pick Yuri, she might be so self-absorbed and might go a bit crazy. If I pick... Monica, I'm fulfilling her whims, and I honestly don't want to do that. Because that just sounds like... Give 
giving the right to tell me what to do. And I rather not have that. So here's my plan. I'm picking that Suki. Oh, frick you! Son of a. Yeah, here's about this. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Very mature, Monica. How about this? Well played. <laughs> you won this round, Monica. You won this round. But I'll be... But I'll figure a way out your tricky plans. Well, not really tricky. It's, it's actually pretty simple, in all honesty. You get what I'm going with. <sighs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is more crazier than before, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel, support the content provided, and so on and so forth. Tell me what you think of this series so far in the comment section below and all that. Again, as I said in the beginning, this is just going to be a trial and error to see. What would be like a better time to, uh, Upload mainly because uh, I'm starting to think that maybe uploading at my my usual time might be too inconvenient. So yeah, tell me what you think about it as well, or if I should just honestly just keep posting at the original time I usually do it. Honestly, I'm. I'm curious, and I want to make sure you all get to see it at a reasonable time. So, yeah. Anyway, again, hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!